this driver records a potentially supernatural highway encounter that leaves him speechless and terrified. According to the driver, this person was missing their head. Look again and you'll see it does look like they have no head, but it's probably just the way the headlights overpower the camera. There's just one thing though, even when they do get past the headlights, it still appears as if there is nothing above their shoulders. Daffy of Busan TV is a YouTuber from Ambon, Indonesia, who makes ghost hunting videos in Depok City. One of the scariest, most haunted places he's ever gone exploring was a large abandoned hospital that shut down after too many things went wrong. Yeah, belum lama rumah sakit ini terbengkalai. Astagfirullah. Anjir, serem amat ya. One of the hospital's final mistakes before getting shut down was letting a nun named Sister Nancy pass away on the ICU floor. Now her angry spirit is watching over this haunted place and not in a loving way. Assalamualaikum. Wow. Antara gua halu atau tidak, tapi tadi gua ngelihat seperti ada orang lewat di sini. As Daffy goes exploring, only the smallest of clues, flashes of light where his camera is not pointing, for example, belie the presence of anything paranormal. A walled off entrance reveals an even older wing that feels entirely wrong. This place is haunted more than any other part of the hospital, he's sure of it. Soon he finds the ICU room on the second floor, the place where the ghost nun is said to haunt. He knows there's no turning back now. Tadi gua mendengar suatu dari arah sini. Oke, okay. kita langsung aja ke ruang ICU. Suster Neng sih. He leaves the ICU ward feeling extremely uncomfortable, but without conclusive paranormal evidence. And as he takes a final look around, keren, sumpah ini keren. Assalamualaikum. He hears something moving on wheels one room over. A row of cots remains undisturbed except for one that's been pulled out. I don't know if it was Sister Nancy, but I wouldn't stick around to find out. This video is over half an hour long, and I get every impression that he's truly exploring this abandoned hospital all by himself. A hospital that's every bit as haunted as the rumors say. A YouTuber named Vicky Short offers this creepy home CCTV video as paranormal evidence of a haunted house. It's 4.26 in the morning when a scary event happens that is caught on CCTV. Two books falling off the shelf, seemingly with no one around. Vicky says the haunted household objects moved on their own, but the alleged paranormal activity happens in a corner that the camera can't really see very well, so I'm not sure if it's real or fake. This could be a ghost moving the books, or it could be someone moving them off camera. But when the two lights mysteriously flash from a surge of energy across from where the books fell, it makes them suspect that paranormal activity is occurring after all. While on duty at a hospital one night, a security guard noticed something alarming on CCTV footage at around 11 p.m. Let's take a look. The mysterious ball of fire is later seen returning from the other end of the hall. The security officer notes that senior officers said this phenomenon is unexplained, but not uncommon. Many attest to having seen a child spirit, as well as the apparition of a young woman, wandering the grounds of this place. Is this one of their souls? 
I'd like to believe it is, but we can't rule out your run-of-the-mill bug anomaly either. Weigh in with your opinion in the comments. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. Do you believe in demonic possession? This scary video might convert you. This video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community and shows an apparent possession unfolding before our very eyes. A young man is kneeling on the floor, his eyes rolled into the back of his head. The growling sounds coming from deep within him sound demonic. A couple of men stand above him, apparently trying to exercise the demon out of him, while others are gathered around. One of the men places his hand on the possessed man's forehead. That's where the video ends. Viewers are left to wonder if this man was freed of the demon within, or if he simply continues to live with this evil plaguing him, but I sincerely hope that's not the case. Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal is at his breaking point in this scary video. Published in March of 2022, Dennis encounters the most terrible demon in this haunted abode. Dennis conducts an EGF session with a horned skull facing a mirror. It tells him, you let him out. After asking what he should do, the skull requests a ritual. He's told to burn it and take it to the swamp. Otherwise, the demon will follow him. He is also told that the demon is here. Dennis creeps around the house searching. He doesn't need to look far. Dennis is later dragged across the room by his heel. After regaining his feet, he calmly takes in the entire disaster zone. Then an object under a big draping robe moves toward him. Is this the demon? He'd better get to that ritual. I have a feeling there is worse to come. Jonathan Savo published this video in January 2015. After visiting his girlfriend in a Paris hospital, he wrote that a woman in the next bed was roaring and screeching with the voice of a devil, and that's what the video captures. The woman is seen lying flat in a bed, speaking in a raspy, evil voice. She is harassing the couple, calling them tacky and ugly, and telling them they're all going to die. Although you can only see her profile in the video, and you can't see her mouth moving, what you can see is her chest rising and falling as she delivers her angry tirade of insults and threats. 
She then says she's going to call her mafia friend, after which she claims she's going to remove her IV drip so they can get out of the hospital. That's where the clip ends, leaving us wondering if the woman did in fact try to escape. But John doesn't leave us hanging. In his own words, he wrote, I was no longer filming when she or it started to get up and wanted to take the life of a person sitting next to her. Five nurses came in to stop her, and we were asked to leave the room quickly. What happened next, John doesn't know. Prior to this experience, John says he was skeptical about demonic possessions and everything related to them. But after seeing one in the flesh, he's a believer. These friends are hanging out at the end of a cul-de-sac when one of them named Robert loses his skateboard down a deep sewer grate. Most skaters would probably call it quits then and there, but Robert forces his way through the grate and soon becomes just as stuck as his board. They all laugh and make jokes as they wait for rescue workers to arrive, but as you can see by this nervous nail biting, the situation is much more serious than anyone is letting on. Firefighters are unable to pry open a nearby manhole cover. Thinking fast, they send a line down for Robert to grab and eventually fish him out that way. After the whole ordeal is over, one of the men explains that Robert is lucky to still be alive. You know what's down there? Not really. It? A lot of diseases. Yeah, well, not only that, but there could be like chemicals that could kill you like that. Oh. Uh, it's mm. a sewer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This calm and professional explanation will hopefully make Robert think twice if this ever happens again. Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022, this ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force, and then the fun begins. The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? <laughs> Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do? Let me know in the comments. This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sofia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sofia confirms that she saw it move too. Justin Minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Justin Minx's home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time, she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. This man thought he'd get away with it, but he was sorely mistaken. Published by Rio Link in July of 2019, the suspect is seen crossing a quiet road at night in June of 2019 at around 3 in the morning. As the vehicle approaches, he hurries across the road and hides under the front end of a parked truck in a driveway. After the vehicle passes, the dude rolls from under the truck and puts his hood on. He then tries to enter the truck because the door is unlocked. But before he can snatch any valuables, the car alarm goes off, undoubtedly waking up the whole neighborhood. and the would-be burglar flees across the street. 
I think we can all agree this attempt failed miserably. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SufficientFly3271, this redditor wrote, Can you feature this in one of your videos? My name is Brittany Keel. I live in Richmond, Vermont, and I hear these noises almost every night slash morning. Finally got it on video. Always around 2.30 in the morning. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Anarchy881 writes, Dogman maybe? Well, Dusty Stories wrote, Don't know what we're supposed to be hearing besides tree frogs and birds, but whatever it was, my dog was very interested in what it was saying. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. This footage was taken when a team of curious German explorers traveled deep into Africa to talk with a powerful shaman who claimed to have many spiritual gifts. When they asked him to demonstrate what he was capable of to their cameras and to the world at large, the shaman, whose name was Ovaku, decided to dazzle them with this maneuver. The tribe chants a mysterious song of celebration and encouragement as Ovaku hangs suspended in mid-air. This incredible act looks like it's taking a lot of physical strength as well as mental concentration to perform. The shaman is gasping for breath and appears to be struggling hard to stay afloat. When he drops to the ground, he is exhausted and looks like he is about to pass out on the spot. Determining whether this footage is real or not depends on how much you are willing to trust the German explorers. They insist that no lifts or pulleys were used and they do seem genuinely amazed while filming but who knows what they were really thinking for sure. I will admit that there doesn't seem to be any strings attached to them during the close-up shots, so maybe the shaman can really levitate after all. Following was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Urban Ghost Hunters 901 While filming B-roll in an abandoned church for a future overnight investigation, he caught something frightening on camera. One camera was in a fixed place, capturing a steady shot of a book set on a railing, surrounded by lit candles, while the cameraman was behind the other camera, filming the rest of the room. You can hear the book hit the ground loudly in both shots, while the steady cam captures its fall. <laughs> Nothing visible pushed the book or caused it to fall to the floor. In the comments, Urban explains in a more detail what happened. I was going to do a pan up shot from the back of the church, and as I started to pan up, my camera blurred as if it were trying to focus, not saying it's paranormal because it was in low light, but as it blurred and I was looking through the LCD display, I saw something fly right in front of me. Seems like something paranormal had arrived. When you play with the paranormal, you're bound to get burned. Think it's probably time to get out of there. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Christina7658, the Redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typer Active Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all too common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame, as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. 
She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? Never take something from an abandoned property. You never know what may possess it. Posted by GaryB8632 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Gary explains that his sister visited an abandoned hospital months ago and removed a glass bowl and a basket from the place. Now it seems like something else came with these taken pieces. The Redditor says his sister was alone in her room around 3 a.m. However, beyond the desk, a shadow figure clearly manifests on the wall, appearing for a moment before vanishing into the darkness of the hallway. The Redditor claims that his sister has been waking up with marks ever since. Did she remove a cursed artifact from the property? And is this shadow person somehow possessing these cursed objects? Best bet? Return these artifacts before the aggression gets any worse. Salmon is supposed to be good for you, but this piece has something extra inside of it that definitely isn't. Maybe they'll give me a discount on that one. Huh. As he captures the creature on video, 25 seconds is when the worm finds a soft spot and plunges back inside. This video is especially terrifying when you realize this is not abnormal, nor is it the store's fault. Most salmon is infected with these worms, and improper cooking could introduce a live one into your system. So remember, worms wiggling in your food is a common occurrence that is occasionally caught on tape, and don't forget that you're still eating crunchy ones even when properly cooked. I think they should put a label about it on the packaging because most people probably don't know about this slimy little problem and could have eaten them already, including me and you. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.